you for tuning into our channel over our farm in Mondorongese, Zimbabwe. Uh, thank you to our returning subscribers. Today we're basically going to be talking about uh, the difficulties that we have had with the, this year's seasonal rains, in that we have had sporadic uh, rainfalls across the rain season, and some areas have been deeply affected. But I would say for our early crop, we, we, it seems to have sort of paid some dividends, though it's not quite satisfactory. Our later crop, the later crop, our later crop is one that seems to have sort of struggled a bit and has been hit with the sort of, uh, is starting to sort of wilt. But we are hoping if we do get the rains, we should be able to make some good harvest. Um, it is looking relatively good, as you can tell, because I have seen other areas across the country where the rains have been really, really scarce and that has damaged the cropping for a lot of farmers and especially those in the rural areas with no irrigation in place. Uh, for us, one of the things that we have sort of uh, utilized is uh, making sure that we have done enough land preparation, especially use part of the concept of uh, ensuring that there's mulching so that at least we can retain the moisture around. We've sort of embraced some of the concept of the Pumvodza where you're farming in terms of uh, creating uh, mulching and ensuring that uh, we are following a specific calendar. Um, we have also changed our seed variety from the last years and it appears this one is more in tune to our area of Mondorongese which is in the region of all of the agronomical regions of Zimbabwe. We do not re receive much rainfall, I think it's between 450 millimeters, millimeters to, to 650 millimeters per year and we are have to sort of maximize on the rains and ensure that we are also putting things in place. Uh, one of the things that we, we have also been looking at is uh, ensuring that we've got uh, enough feeds for the animals and one of the things we're going to try and implement is uh, creating silage uh, from some of the maize crop that we have had even those that have failed to sort of thrive we're going to use it as part of silage we have also grown ground nuts and round nuts and uh, we are also embarking on sweet potato but then the distribution of that is not that much um, we are hoping last year we did have some challenges in terms of uh, our, our sweet potatoes in that while they did very well they succumbed to the pest because of the late harvesting so we learned our lessons and we continue to sort of make adjustments as we progress I know this is not much of a long video in terms but then it was an opportunity to just show you what we've done in terms of our crop husbandry and we continue to sort of show you how we are progressing and how we are doing things and we thank you again to our returning subscribers those who have just tuned in today please like us and please share thank you